you're driving down the road and you need gas in your car. You see billboard after billboard for gas prices, but they're all different. You go a little bit further, more different gas prices. State to state, city by city, town by town, all the gas prices are different. So why? Today I'm going to talk to you about what determines gas prices and show you trends over the last two years about gas prices. Then I'm going to try to give you some advice on how to save gas and put a little bit more money in your pocket. First thing I'm going to talk to you about is I'm going to tell you how gas prices are determined. Investigroup.com has an article on there, What Determines Gas Prices? Prices of crude oil make up about 68% 60 of the total that you're going to be paying at the pump. Another 14% is federal and state taxes. Combine these with some other stuff and that's what you pay at the pump. Why they're different all the time? That depends on supply and demand from the oil companies. Go a little bit further and going from company to company, oil prices are also changed on the investment groups. They're unchanged by the companies that supply the oil from what's going on overseas. We know that things that are going on in Iran have a lot to affect about how much oil is shipped over to the United States. Uh, the United States is the number one consumer of fossil oil and fossil fuels in the world. We get more oil from overseas than we actually produce uh, stateside. Another part that brings up crude oil prices in July of 2001 were $100.46. And you look at January 2012, they were $106.89. So depending on what the market up on Wall Street is doing, depends on how much you're going to be paying at the pump. Because remember, 68% of the crude oil price is going to be put into the gas prices. I told you a little bit about how the gas prices are determined at the pump. Now I'm going to show you some trends over the last two years that have happened and show you, tell you some prices. This shows in 2010 that prices were anywhere between at a low point in February at $2.65 all the way up to in December when it was a just over two dollars and ninety cents. More times it looks like in the later months of the year during the holiday season is when gas prices are going to go up because supply and demand goes up so we're going to see gas prices go up. You can tell in 2011 we have a big jump in gas prices at the low point of uh, 310 in January all the way up to almost $3.96 in May. These gas prices are going up and down all the time. The prices that I have here were from ConsumerReports.com. They send out a newsletter or you can go on their website or just look. They send out something each week that determines the gas prices for the nation. Uh, it takes different parts of, takes all the different numbers of the country puts them together and divides them up in the formula that they have and shows you the different uh, prices. You're going to be paying more money in Hawaii than you're going to be paying in Kansas because it's going to be it costs more money to ship the gasoline over there and then it does in somewhere in the states where the refineries might be. Now that I've showed you some trends about how gas prices are determined, let me tell you, try to tell you some ways that you can save money in gas and try to put a little bit more in your pocket. About.com has an article out there that calls the top 10 fuel saving tips. Uh, some of their tips are slow down. Don't romp on the gas when you're about to leave the stop sign or stop light or anything like that and also watch your braking distance. Don't slam on the brakes or anything like that to when you do it. Coast in there because you use more fuel on acceleration than you do any time else. 
Uh, another thing is keep your tire pressures correct. The reason why you keep your tire pressures correct is because that's when you're going to get your most uh, gallons per minute because your car is going to be balanced. When a car company does the mileage per gallons, they have perfect conditions. Their tires are at the exact amounts. There's no wind. It's on a con flat surface. That's where you're going to get your most um, miles per gallon. So you want to keep your tires as, um, at the recommended for that vehicle. Not all vehicles are going to be the same. SUVs are going to be different than trucks. Cars are going to be different than SUVs. Uh, the place to look is on the inside of the door. They have the recommendations for your vehicle. Uh, one of the other things that you can do is turn your vehicle's AC off at lower speeds. When you're driving around town, turn your ACs off, open your windows. Yeah, I know it sucks during the, win or the winter and the height of the summer and stuff, but if you want to save some money, that's the best ways. Uh, Mythbusters had actually done uh, testing about that on whether it's easier, best to have your windows up and the AC on or have the windows down and the AC off. And the person with the windows down and the AC off actually drove quite a bit further than the person that had the windows up and the AC on. Okay. In conclusion, I'd like to uh, reiterate that remember that gas prices are going to be changed different state to state, city to city, town by town, even gas station to gas station because of the way gas prices are done, or excuse me, oil prices are done in the refinery. 68% uh, makes up that you're going to pay at the pump goes towards crude oil. The other 14% is in your state and federal taxes. I've showed you some trends about different parts of uh, 2010 and 2011 and how much your gas prices have changed. I've also told you some ways that you can try to save money and put more money in your pocket, save gas and put more money in your pocket. I hope you take this information, do a little bit of research on your own, and try to put more money in your pocket, just like I'm going to. Thank you.